Welcome to today's Gospel Reading and Reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Saturday, December 2nd, 2023, Saturday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Luke Chapter 21, verses 34 through 36. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Tomorrow we begin the season of Advent, and already when we flip on the television we see bright lights, Black Friday sales, and Christmas shows that have, well, absolutely nothing to do with the true meaning of Christmas. Our faith in Christ is a contradiction to the commercialism that we're inundated with during this time of year, and it can become a huge distraction for us. In today's Gospel, Jesus warns his disciples about the dangers of being weighed down by the distractions of life. He urges them to be vigilant and to pray always, so that they may have the strength to escape the tribulations that are to come. As we approach the season of Advent, we're reminded that Advent is a time of waiting and preparation for both the celebration of Jesus' birth at Christmas and the anticipation of his second coming. It's a period that calls for reflection, watchfulness, and spiritual readiness, much like the vigilance that Jesus speaks of in today's Gospel. St. Bernard of Clairvaux once wrote that Advent is the season of the secret, the secret of the growth of Christ of divine love growing in silence. Bernard beautifully captures the essence of Advent as a time of quiet preparation and spiritual growth. He echoes the call for vigilance and prayerful readiness that we read in Luke's passage today, reminding us that amidst the silence and waiting, there is a profound and divine process at work, and that that leads us to the joyous celebration of Christ's birth. Perhaps during this Advent season, We might take a moment to step away from the distractions and the busyness of life to focus on our spiritual journey. Let's remember that Advent is a season to prepare our hearts and minds for the coming of Christ and really examine whether our hearts are prepared. Preparation isn't about buying presents or having Christmas parties, although I want to go on record saying there's nothing wrong with a good Christmas party. But Advent is an internal process of spiritual renewal and anticipation and really coming to meet Jesus in the quiet of our hearts. And so today, let's pray and remain focused on Jesus and the true meaning of Christmas, and let us prepare ourselves for the journey to encounter him in hopeful anticipation of his return. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers. 